Um, hi, how are you guys today? Um, I'm guessing, can I get the lights real quick? I'm guessing that many of you didn't miss out on childhood, and you have seen the Flintstones, the gorgeous Hanna-Barbera cartoon that was developed during the 70s. Um, lights, please. And while most of us see that as fiction, man living with dinosaurs, garbage disposals, and whatnot, lawnmowers, um, there's a sect of, uh, Christians in this country and all over the world that believe that the earth was created not 6,000 years ago. These are called young earth creationists. And I'm here today to display and highlight the inaccuracies of the theory of young earth creationism. <coughs> um, today we know that science helps us uh, figure out a lot of things. So it helps us live longer, helps us eat better, um, all these kinds of things. And we can use science to figure out how old the earth actually is. Um, but some people take the Bible as a literal interpretation and believe that the world is only 6,000 years old. Um, it's actually believed that 44% of the American population today uh, believes that the Earth was created less than 6,000 years ago. So this is a response to the statement, human beings as we know them developed from an earlier species of humans, and the U.S. is one of the lowest on that form. I got all this information from Gallup poll. Um, thank you. Uh, the Earth actually has been scientifically proven that our Earth is around 4.5 billion years old. This is a long time. This allowed our, all our uh, natural like geological formations to be formed and our species to evolve as to what they are today. 4.5 billion is a huge leap from the 6,000-ish years that younger creationists believe uh, the Earth actually is. Um, the ideas of an old Earth have been proven through evolution, the light of stars, and the fo fossil records and geological deposits in the Earth. Um, so, I'm guessing that many of us have looked up and seen stars, like in the sky. Uh, these stars are millions of light years away. Uh, and for them to exist, and for us to see the light of stars, must mean that all, like, their light distance has traveled to the Earth over time. Uh, an example, the galaxy M100, M100 in the Virgo cluster of stars is pro approximately 56 million light years away. Um, and this has been recently seen in the Hubble telescope. So for this, the light from this galaxy, which we can see, must have traveled up to 56 million years, um, which is scientific proof that our Earth was created over 6,000 years ago. Um, I got this information from hubblesite.org, which is the official website of the Hubble telescope. Um, because the light takes so long to reach us, it's a clear indicator that we have been around for at least 56 million years. Um, this in and of itself shows the theory of younger creation is inherently flawed. Um, and then the idea that, uh, that, that was presented about light time uh, and stars being able to reach us uh, has been uh, put in uh, younger creation theory as uh, God put the, put the stars out there and let the light reach us as it was. But I got this quote. Um, Suppose that God had deliberately faked the light of an, explo uh, of an explosion that had never happened. If he did this, how would, he know, how would we know anything about the universe? Once you postulate that an all-powerful, deceptive God is manip manipulating the data, we could know nothing. Such a God could be fooling us in everything we observe. We may think light lightning is made of electricity, but if it's a uh, deceitful God is in charge, maybe, his only, maybe he is only fooling us. We may think the laws of physics apply, but a deceitful God could be manipula manipulating the data. So, if God is all-powerful and he is deceitful, uh, deceitfully manipulating the data, we would know my... <coughs> I got this from Merle Hertzler. Um, but this is not, not enough data for some. Some people still believe that uh, the Earth is at, on a biblical creation level of uh, 6,000 years old. Uh, the debate can go on. The cosmos have, have been in existence longer than the Earth, uh, or that the dating measuring techniques are not enough. There is other evidence in the old Earth. Um, a main point in Young Earth Creationism philosophy is that the Earth was literally, literally created in seven days. All our ge geologic, uh, geographical formations were formed either in the seven-day period or in the Great Flood of Noah's Ark. Um, this can be shown to be false by current geological standards and that our Earth was formed over billions of years of shaping and forming through natural processes, not through a series of giant catastrophes in the last few thousand years. Um, the world has evolved over time. Uh, species and geology show this. <coughs> Uh, the young earth creationists take this world theory and distort its meaning in common usage. Theory often re re uh, refers to conjectures, hypotheses, and un unproven assumptions. However, in science, uh, 
theory usually means a plausible or scientifically acceptable general principle, general principle or body of principles offered to explain a phenomenon. So when talking about old Earth and young Earth <coughs> theories, many people bring up the, the um, theory of evolution. While they present it as a theory, which in normal English means uh, unproven and unclaimable um, and unquantifiable, in science this is a generally proven thing. They distort the meaning of those words to prove that, uh, that science can't actually prove anything. Um, I have another quote from Murrah Hartzler. And what about the caves, cave system footprint, footprints and animal burrows that we find throughout the fossil record? How can these things be created during a raging flood? Animals would not be walking, walking around leaving footprints if a raging flood was going on above them, would they? And how can, we possibly, how can a cave possibly get created in the middle of a raging flood? So it seems to me that the flood cannot explain the fossil record. The, the ra layers of rock must have been formed over a very long period of time. Um, and then my last point on this is the genetic code. Um, let's this right here is a display of evolution over the last, last few years. Uh, it stems from different species and goes on, as we can see, are genetically re uh, related at this point. Thank you. Um, current advances in the genetic code show how similar humans are to every living thing on the planet. Our DNA is not, is, is, uh, nearly, identi not nearly identical because of anything other than the fact that we share a common ancestry with almost every living thing on the planet. <coughs> I have a quote from John Schirmer. The Discovery Institute presents common, common uh, descent as controversial exclusively within the animal kingdom, as it focuses on embryology, anatomy, and the fossil record to raise questions about them. In the real world of science, common descent of animals is completely non-controversial. Any controversy resides in the uh, microbial world. They're, they're there. Research, uh, researchers argue over a variety of topics, starting with the very beginning, namely the relationship among the three main branches of life. So evolution really isn't disputed on a larger level, it's disputed on a smaller level within the inner workings of it and how those came about. <coughs> um, all these points lead to uh, the common conception within the higher scientific world of an old earth and dissension from a common, uh, from a common ancestor. Um, I have later points, ultimately it's all up to personal choice, but it's a hard choice to make, make about the cold hard facts that you stare from around. Um, the theories of young earth creationism are prominent all around the U.S. These ideas are flawed and archaic and have no ground in current thinking. The ideas of an old earth have been proven through evolution, the light of stars, and the fossil record in geological deposits in the earth. While this evidence is, is out, some still choose to look backwards and try to cover their tracks and they should be focusing on new issues. So I ask, Flintstones, funny cartoon, or look at the real good old days? Thank you. Did we say we was going to do the oral evaluation? Is that oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, good thesis. Um, good visuals. You guided everything directly. Um, good eye contact. Good. Alright, John, I thought the opening was fine. Uh, your thesis statement is very clearly stated. It's a persuasive claim, though. It's an argumentative statement as opposed to an informative statement. If you want to tell us about the young earth theory, that would be one thing. If you want to show us uh, how uh, we know that the earth is older than a period of time, you know, than 6,000 years, I guess you could uh, make that your thesis, but the premise is that there's some dispute on this and you're responding to that dispute. So your, your focus is a little bit different than uh, the purpose for the assignment, although there were some things that you did that explained uh, what it was that you were talking about. 
I didn't see a preview that was very clear, and in fact, most of the way through the speech, I had a hard time figuring out what the organizational structure was, but you had a nice internal summary before you got to the third point that clarified it a little bit and gave it a lot more structure than it had before. I thought you did a good job uh, explaining the concepts of the different theories. I've got to stop this.